When you have more than one button on a slide in Articulate Storyline, sometimes it makes sense to turn those buttons into a button set. And a big reason why is because it allows you to make that set behave just like radio buttons. So what that means is, like on this interaction, only one of these three buttons can be selected at a time. And you can see how the selected state on each button makes it very clear which one I've selected. And if I select a different button, it's also very clear that the other two are not selected. So let's see how to create a button set. It's super easy. Let me just switch here to a duplicate slide where I have not yet turned these buttons into a button set. And what we're gonna do is select all three of them and you can select them the way I just did by clicking and dragging or you can use a control click to multi-select your buttons. And by the way, you can use other objects as a button set too. You don't have to use only Storyline's built-in buttons and I'll show you how that works in just a second. So we've got our buttons selected and now we can right click and then choose button set. And now I can assign this button set to the default name that Storyline provides, which in this case is button set one, or I can give the set a new name by clicking on new set. And using a custom name is kind of nice, especially if you know maybe you've got several button sets on a single slide, like you know maybe if you had a group of three men and a group of three women and you wanted to select you and the learner to select one from each group, that's totally fine. You could give each group a different name and you can have as many button sets on a single slide as you want. We'll just go with the one, so we'll click add. And now what happens is, if we select one of our buttons and then look down here in our states panel, you'll see that Storyline created a selected state for each of our three buttons. And that means the learner is going to be able to see really easily which of the buttons is the selected one. And you can modify this selected state. Like if you wanted to maybe not have this default blue glow, you could just click edit states and then choose the selected state and make whatever formatting changes you want. Like let's just get rid of the glow just so you can see what that looks like. So under button effects, we'll turn off the glow and maybe we'll give it a border. Actually, let's make that border really thick so it's very visible. So now the selected state looks quite a bit different. Now, if you make that change to one button, you'll probably want to make it to the other ones too so that they behave consistently. And you could go through and follow the same steps for the others, but a quicker way is to select the button and then up on the Home tab, you can double click the Format Painter and then just click once on each button to apply that change. And you can see how the selected state now looks you know, the same as it did for the first one. So let's go ahead and preview this and see how this is going to look for us. So we'll just choose a button and you can see how the selected state looks, you know, consistent across each of them and only one is selected at the same time. Now in this example, um, I've already hooked up the triggers, right, for each button so that they're displaying some slide layers. That's where this blue, you know, box down here is coming from. So if you're not sure how to connect buttons to triggers, we do have a separate tutorial on how to create triggers. So definitely take a look at that if you need some help. Okay, now let's do a little twist on the button set idea. What if you're not actually using built-in buttons on an interaction like this? Like what if you wanted the learner to click directly on one of the characters rather than choose a button? Well, that's totally easy too, um, and the procedure is the same because a button set can include just about any object you want. It can you know, be shapes, it can be captions, you can use characters, and that's what we're gonna do here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all of my three characters, I'll right click and choose button set. I'll add them to the default button set. And again, you know, I've already hooked up each of these with triggers so that they're each gonna display the correct layer. But what happens is if we preview this, you'll see how each one has a selected state and you can only choose one at a time. And again, I can modify the selected state if I don't like the blue glow, I can make that change in my states panel just like we saw for the buttons that we looked at on the other slide. So that's all there is to creating button sets in Articulate Storyline.